Let us see a few more examples of expression evaluation in C, what kind of expressions are allowed, what kind of errors do people usually make and so on. Um, Let us say that we have given an expression A equal to 1, B equal to 1, C equal to 2 and then we have an expression A less than B and and B greater than or equal to C. Okay, so, th this is the expression that we want to see how it will be evaluated. Uh, so, let us just uh, go through it systematically. The operations on are less than or equal to, then we have the logical and operation and the greater than or equal to symbol. Of these, the relational uh, comparison operations less than or equal to and greater than or equal to have greater precedence over the logical and. Right. So, the precedence will be and and among operations of the same precedence level um, we have left to right. So, whatever happens first when looking from left to right will be evaluated first. So, these two operations have the same precedence. So, we will have A less than or equal to B within parenthesis, then B greater than or equal to C within parenthesis, these have to be done first and then and. Okay. So, this will be done first, this will be done second and this is the third operation. Conceptually using uh, just precedence and associativity rules, this is how the expression should be evaluated. So, when we evaluate it A less than or equal to B is 1 less than or equal to 1, so that is 1, B greater than or equal to C is 1 greater than or equal to 2, so that is 0. So, this becomes 1 and 0 in which case it is 0. Now, let us look at a few tricky examples. So, if you have an expression of the following form, if A equal to B greater than 1, then C equal to 1. Okay. So, let us see what happens here. We will do the same thing, uh, operations sorted by precedence uh, is there is greater than symbol, which has a higher precedence over the equal to symbol. Okay. So, the expression A equal to B greater than 1 will be evaluated as um, B greater than 1, because that has higher precedence. So, this goes first and then A, A equal to B greater than 1. Now, B is 2. So, B greater than 1 is 1. So, you have A equal to 1. And a equal to 1 is an assignment expression. It assigns the value 1 to A and the return value is one okay, because A is assigned to 1. So, then this whole if expression becomes if 1 C equal to 1, in which case we know that c equal to 1 that statement will be executed. Okay. Now, typically what is expected uh, uh, the pro typical programming style is to say something like A is assigned to B and if that result is greater than 1. So, we may want to uh, deliberately violate the precedence. How do you do that? So, C does it in some way if you do not parenthesize it, you can always change the order of evaluation in C by introducing parenthesis, so that the meaning is very clear. So, if you do not parenthesize it, uh, then A equal to B greater than 1 is the same as uh, A equal to B greater than 1. But what if you really want to do A equal to B and then that greater than 1. So, you in that case you parenthesize it. Why? Because parenthesis has the highest precedence. So, whatever is within parenthesis will be evaluated first. 
So, a equal to b will be evaluated first um, and b is 2. So, a will get the value 2. So, the assignment a equal to b will have return the value 2 and 2 is greater than 1. So, it will be executed. Okay. One particular um, way in which such an expression can be seen we have already seen such an example is you read all integers from the terminal until a minus 1 is read. Okay. So, suppose the input uh, is of the form 3 2 minus 1 and then let us say dot or something of that sort. Uh, so, what this expression does is scanf returns a value which is the number of tokens that uh, number of inputs that was it was successfully able to read. Okay. So, if you try to read a character as an integer it will not um, it may not succeed. And so, as long as you have correctly read an integer and the integer is not minus 1, then you do a particular loop. So, this is the kind of expression that is often used um, where you assign some value to A uh, using the assignment statement, or maybe you want to check the return value of a function uh, whether it is positive or not, and based on that, you want to write a um, condition. So, the logical AND operation does uh, operates in the following way it uh, evaluates the first the left operand first. If this condition is um, false then you know that the whole expression is going to be false if at least one of the terms is false then you know that the whole thing is false. So, it will not even evaluate the second operand. On the other hand if the operation is true then it will check whether the second operand is true. If the second operand is also true, then the whole expression is true. If the second operand is false, then it is also then the whole expression is false. This method of evaluation is also called short circuiting, because um, it may not evaluate the whole expression in order to get the result. So, if, if, if I know that this expression is false, then there is no need to evaluate this because I know that the whole expression is going to be false. Okay. Here is um, a common mistake that people do, uh, because this is similar to mathematical notation. When you want to check a condition that a is between 1 and 5, what happens if you write a 1 less than a less than 5, because this is the way we do it in mathematics. Um, well, C will uh, apply the precedence and the associativity. In this case, it is the same operation. So, only associativity applies and according to associativity, it is left to right. So, this will be evaluated as 1 less than A less than 5. Okay. Now, A is 2. So, 1 less than A is false. right? So, this becomes 0. So, the whole thing is 0 less than 5. So, it is true. So, if you execute this code it will eventually become uh, an infinite loop, because this is an expression that always evaluates to true. Now, what you probably mean is uh, that I want to check that a is between 1 and 5, a is 2. So, the correct way to write such an expression would be 1 less than a and a less than 5 okay. that will check the betweenness condition. So, notice that this is different from the way we normally write in mathematics. This is how we would write such a test in mathematics, but that will cause an infinite loop. This is because C will apply the precedence and the associativity rules um, and not what you think it should do. Okay. So, okay. Now, let us look at uh, can there be expressions which make no sense. Okay, we have already or we have seen several examples where um, you can always make sense out of it. So, let us take this expression again uh, list out uh, the operations see you have equal to twice then you have uh, the modulo operation which is highest precedence 
then you have minus then you again have an equal to and then you have a plus. So, these are the operations in the expression ok. So, what needs to be done first B modulo C ok and then uh, you have minus A ok and then you have A plus 1 this is by following precedence and associativity rules. Now, now we come to the assignment statement assignment statements are done right to left ok. So, the first thing that you try to do is the following right. So, you try to do the um, so here is a sub expression here is a sub expression here is a sub expression and here is a sub expression. So, it is like assigning four terms and the innermost thing will be done first the rightmost thing will be done first. So, the rightmost assignment is B modulo C minus A is assigned to A plus 1 ok. Now, this is a syntax error ok. So, what happens is as we just discussed uh, if you work out the whole assignment it if you work out the whole expression it becomes something like this. Um, and somewhere uh, when you work out the uh, assignment from right to left you will see that it is trying to assign a number minus 3 to minus 7 okay. that does not make any sense. The left hand side of a assignment statement should be an assignable value which is essentially a variable ok and in this case you are trying to assign a number to another number which does not make sense. So, here is a syntax error. We will conclude the discussion on operations with uh, uh, one more operation which is quite common in C uh, which is the comma operator ok. Now, this is not very common in mathematics, but let us just discuss what does it mean in C. So, let us say that we have two expressions one expression 1 and expression 2 separated by a comma. Now, think of the comma as an operation just like any other operation like plus or minus. So, it must have a precedence it must have an associativity and so on. So, what will happen when we have an expression like i plus 2 comma sum equal to sum minus 1. So, how does it follows first you evaluate the expression 1. So, first in this case you evaluate i plus 2 then you evaluate sum equal to sum minus 1 and return the value of the last expression ok. So, uh, the the whole the comma operation is involved in an expression called the comma expression every expression has a value and the value of the comma expression will be expression 2. So, what if you have multiple expressions uh, you figure out what is the associativity of the comma expression the comma expression associates left to right. So, this expression will become uh, scan f and so on sum equal to 0 i equal to 0 ok. So, this for the first comma this is expression 1 and this is expression 2. So, this expression evaluates to uh, the result of sum equal to 0 which is 0 as we know. Now, the second level is you have uh, 0 comma i equal to 0 ok. So, the first uh, comma expression is evaluated and its result is expression 2 of that expression which is uh, sum equal value of sum equal to 0 which is 0. So, the outer expression becomes 0 comma i equal to 0 the value of that expression is the value of expression 2 in that bigger expression which is the value of i equal to 0 ok. So, here is how uh, you will apply the rule that it is the value of the second expression for a more general expression involving multiple commas. So, what you do is first evaluate the first expression and it has some value for example, in this case it is an assignment expression. So, it will have the value 0. 
Okay. And then the second expression is evaluated and the value of the comma expression is the value of the second expression. Note that the you may uh, at first sight you may see multiple commas in the same expression, but the way you do it is that you group them using associativity rules into uh, a sequence of comma expressions where each comma expression has exactly two terms. This is what we did in the previous example. Now comma expression is very convenient because you can do things like when you want to initialize uh, multiple variables in a for loop for example you can just say sum equal to 0 comma i equal to 0 it will initialize both values at the same time both variables at the same time. So commas are evaluated left to right uh, this is what I just uh, worked out an example of the following form. So if you have multiple sub expressions in a comma expression, if you have multiple commas, what you do is you associate them just like you did with plus and star. You have multiple comma expressions and then group them two at a time. So it becomes two comma expressions and then evaluate them. Now the comma expression has the lowest precedence of any operator in C. So if you have an operation like a equal to a plus y comma sum equal to sum plus a what will happen is you do this expression a equal to a plus 5 then do this expression sum equal to sum plus a and then uh, evaluate the comma expression and therefore there uh, when you have a comma expression you do not need uh, explicit parenthesis because the precedence takes care of it. It has the lowest precedence so it will never get swallowed into a bit bigger expression which involves other operations. So it will always be evaluated at the end. So just to remind you here is the table once again and notice that uh, as we discussed the comma operation is the lowest precedence and it associates left to right. There is also uh, a slightly different uh, meaning of the comma in C, we will just mention that in passing. Uh, there is also the normal separator. Okay. So the separator can be seen in multiple uh, occasions in C. When you initialize an expression, when you say sum equal to 0, uh, comma i equal to 0, comma j equal to 0, this is not the comma expression, it is just, it is just a separator as in English. So similarly when you call a function, uh, you have comma to separate out the arguments, that does not mean that uh, um, the arguments are inside a comma expression. The here comma is just a separator as in English. And it is always clear from the context whether a comma is a separator or an um, operator. Okay. As an operator it has a particular value, as a separator it does not do anything other than saying that this first and then this. So we have seen several operators in C and discussed the concepts of precedence and associativity and what is important is given the precedence and the associativity tables can you uh, understand an expression, uh, see whether it is a valid expression and if it is a valid expression what will be its value. 